Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy belated fourth, y'all. Yesterday, we just chilled out because it was so... It rained all day yesterday. Anyway, y'all, I didn't even want to turn loose the sheets this morning. Are you kidding me? But we got to do what we got to do. And guess what, y'all? I'm getting ready for work, yeah. I should have took a vacation today, Friday, but there's too much going on in the office and um and I need to be there so anyway besides y'all it's fish Friday I have to get my fish today <laughs> anyway what about the um earthquake over there in California uh, they said it was pretty uh pretty hectic and I didn't hear about it until later on yesterday uh last night but anyway also y'all shout out to coco i think her last name is pronounced gaff or guff is she not doing the daggone thing at wilmington y'all i can remember i used to love to watch tennis oh i used to love to watch steffi graff y'all remember steffi graff i used to love to watch her play tennis loved it loved it loved it but, you know, I just got away from it. But I'm telling you, HBO used to uh, carry the women in tournament from start to finish. And I was here for it. And let me tell you, oh, I can just remember how much I used to love to watch tennis. But anyway, y'all, let's go get Butamus. Uh, yeah, get this coffee going. Wake myself up even the more. And uh, knock these eight, hour, eight hours out in the breeze. And then... I'll be coming home and officially start actually packing and just going and getting stuff off the walls and all that good stuff. So anyway, let's go. Let's do it. Alright y'all, this is my current situation. I am on the move. Me and Mr. Silver Fox are getting it in. He's on his way back to get this second this uh second batch of trash. Uh your girls doing it in phases. So when it's move day, uh yeah, I ain't gotta worry about doing this part of it. We just moving furniture and that's it. Hey, what's up? Good morning everybody. It's uh, time to go to worship. Time to go to church and sing up the praises. Amen. Y'all, I have been busy. I've been tired. Um, I did, me and Mrs. Fox, we threw a lot of stuff away. I mean, it's like I went through uh, drawers, utility drawers, junk drawers, just went through all of that. Went ahead on and did the daggone thing. Dumped them, dumped them type of drawers, uh, old bowls that didn't have lids and just old stuff. And then I got to looking through my shoes and you know how you wear shoes and you wear them throughout the year for two or three seasons, if you will. And yeah, y'all see, I got a, a little friend riding along. Ugh, I mean, this thing is huge. I'm trying my best not to mess with it because it's going to leave a scar. But when it's about to be that time y'all 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 ladies know i'm telling you this oh anyway so it's there it is what it is it's riding along um matter of fact i got two there's one that's not coming up uh yet but anyway whatever um but anyway you know you get to looking at your shoes and you notice that uh they're wearing and tearing at the like if you got buckle shoes and um they're just wearing and they're getting old and you know I try to look over my shoes because Lord knows I don't want to have shoes that are run over looking and it because it just doesn't look good on plus size it don't look good period but it definitely don't look good on plus size women um, but anyway um, so I've purged my shoes um, some I've bagged to go to Salvation Army but there's just some that they're just uh, 
I don't even know how I was still walking in them. You know how when you're getting ready for work, you put them on, slide them in, and keep it moving. But when you're going through stuff, when you're packing, honey, you start looking over and you're like, Dang, oh, why come did nobody tell me these shoes were tore up? Look like this. <laughs> y'all women, y'all know how we can do. We can rig something up. Well, we got pants that cover the back of the shoe so no, nobody ever see them all skin up. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I said, let me just go on and get rid of these shoes and then go ahead on and um, give them just to and, and or give some, give those that are uh, giveable or salvageable to give to the Salvation Army because I, I look at it like this, if I'm not going to wear it and, and they're tore up, I ain't talking about clothing. Clothing is clothing, but you know, if, if, if they get too woe up and tore up for me to wear, I, I, I don't, even though there might be others in need, but you know, I'm not going to give these shoes to somebody else and they, and they tore up and go out looking on their feet too, even though they may be happy to get it, but that's just my thinking. Not that I'm trying to withhold uh, anything from any body that's in need, um, because, you know, like I said, I give throughout the year all the time. Anyway, I'm always purging. But uh, anyway, so we, we did that, um, started taking pictures off the wall. I need to get me some boxes because what I've got is some big blue bins uh, with lids and those are great for carrying a lot of stuff like one of the bins I'm going to use to put like my dishes in, you know, just separate them by a piece of uh, newspaper um, and then the pots I'm the, the pots that I'm pans that I'm, go <clears throat> that I'm going to keep um I looked up in my cabinet and I had a whole lot of um glasses like glasses that I don't they're just up there I've never even used them well there's a company in our town that will take those type of items and they sell them to you know lower income families or just people anybody who wants to come in there um so i'm gonna give all those glasses um away um just stuff that i know i, I don't use it was just taking up space in my cabinet um because i've since then bought newer glass sets that i will be using um and then i'm only taking certain sets of plates and then the rest i'm gonna give away as well um, but anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm really starting over a fresh clean slate, a new palette, and I want to get in the, again, get in my space and just decorate it the way I want it. It's, it's going to be my home. I want to decorate it the way I want it so I can feel that ambiance and peace. And someone sent me an email and said that, you know, when you, when I get in my house, and I understand that they were just trying to be helpful. I get it. Um, but they began to critique my mother's house and told me that I don't need to, when I get in my new house, I don't need to be putting all that type of style furniture in my house. Um, like I said, uh, first of all, it's my house and I'm going to decorate it where I want to. And they, what they were uh, linking it to is that, you know, when they say you dress so pretty and you know, you seem to be a woman that likes color and da 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 da. Um, so, you know, don't put that brown tiredness back in your house. And, you know, to some extent, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Because if you follow my video, and I know everybody ain't following me from day one, I actually want to go lighter. I'm, I'm going to totally get, not uh, totally abandon the, 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 the earth tones. But I'm actually looking to go much lighter. I'm actually looking to go to creams and beiges and have like almost like a Tuscan feel, but country chic. Look, I'm a country girl. I'm, I'm here to tell you. I, I, I always say I'm a country girl with a city girl chic, you know, because I love to dress. I love to, you know, I've always been like this growing up. Um, but I honestly, um, I, I, I want to have a, uh, I want my house to flow. I want it to be very light and airy um, because I'm going to be doing filming, you know, videos and, 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 and the way my house sits, it gets great natural sunlight. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, I'm going for a very light feel, a very light feel. 
um but again i love my warm earth tones um that's why i love the walls in this house because the the walls are the color i love i don't have to do any i'm telling you i don't have to do anything i can move in ready i mean you know there are going to be some things i'll probably upgrade later on down the line Ooh, the bus man is out honey uh yeah the bus man bus man Ooh, they all jacked up on the side of the highway, honey. They're ready to get people, honey. And they are clocking people, honey, with their speed limit, honey. But anyway, um, but yeah, so, you know, like I said, I can appreciate everyone's input. And that's why I come, actually, I had to repent and <coughs> apologize just, you know, in general. Ooh, somebody tore that sign up. Mm that you know when i was looking for houses and early on uh when even when me and mr silver fox were out and about you know i had a part i said you know what look people like what they like and i learned that even the more when i did the food challenge people like what they like so who am i to go in and you know critique somebody's style now like i said of course i i looked at a lot of houses the outside was immaculate and then you went on the inside it was like 1972 it was like you know they didn't change out the car you know it was very dated and i thought you know what guess what if that's what they liked if that's what their ambiance was if that's what made them feel peace and harmony and tranquil and zen in their home then you know who am i to critique so i i, I apologize for that i had to i had to you know ask the lord to forgive me for being critical in that manner because you know i've learned people like what they like and if they're paying for something that they like it may not be your style it may not be what you would put together it may not be what but if that's the way that person likes for their living room to look i was looking at video because you know when you move in or you're you, you know you get you know for in my case you know it, most of the, you there's so many videos out there on house tours because everybody's getting moving into a new house it's just exciting it's the atmosphere is charged it's so exciting to see all of these you know us youtubers we're moving into new houses and it's just awesome so anyway i was uh you know how you watching videos and youtube would suggest a bunch of different videos so i was watching a whole bunch of people and subscribe to some people that again just like if you don't know you don't know so i didn't know that they had channels but this one lady she had her house it was a very uh new house it was you know nicely built architectural inside but honey she was loving the 70s but it was more updated 70s with a little chic appeal to it and it was really not i really enjoyed that video i mean i thought you know what they don't look half bad so you know like i said you know like i said you know we're all human i'm always in the class of the master i'm always in the master's class of the master meaning my heavenly father always in the classroom and you just learn so you know just like i to say to folk leave folk alone tanya leave folk the house alone that's the way they like they decorate out leave them alone it might have not been how you done it because you ain't living there and you ain't paying the mortgage so i get it i get it i get it ouch 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 that that, that was a that was a learning lesson for me to just you know people like what they like and just leave folk alone and i totally agree people like what they like but anyway i just wanted to share that with you i'm here at church getting ready to go in here and we go in in the morning we go over our songs that we're going to sing you know just warm as as warm up and then we service starts at uh, 10 a.m and let me see where we're gonna go for today anyway love you god bless and may the peace of the lord be with you bye